In this video, I'll talk about how to form an elliptic dipole and then how do you measure the elliptic field due to this elliptic dipole at a perpendicular bisector of the elliptic dipole. So first thing you have to do is open the page simulation. Once you have the page simulation, this is how it looks like. Go to the values and grid. Once you have this one, select this positive charge and place somewhere here. And then and make sure that you place this uh, the charge right at the one of this edges of the square. And uh, what's the distance between the the two electric dipole is 100 centimeter. That is one meter. And if you look at this line, the two a square the bigger square represents the one centimeter so take the negative one call in one nanocoulomb charge and place it here this is an electric the dipole and click on the direction now this is an electric dipole here the electric dipole is the two charges separated by a distance that's an electric dipole or you can also measure the distance between these two by this ruler here you see this is one centimeter 99.9 close to one centimeter and now what you have to do once you have the electric dipole then you have to measure the electric field okay so how do you going to measure the electric field so first just take this sensor and this sensor and place in between here what is the value of electric dipole here and at this distance which is 50 centimeter 100 centimeter and that's the vertical distance so this is the zero distance and now if I place it here that's the vertical distance and this has to be horizontal so that means it is not exactly placed so it, you see this angle it has to be close to zero degree so adjust this one So that you get close to the zero degree value. I'll just I'll just leave it this way. That's the 50 centimeter, and then the same way you can put them here, and then you'll get one centi one meter, then you'll get one and a half, then put them here, you'll get two, then you'll get two and a half, and fill all this value into this table here up to 300 okay so get this value 50 centimeter and uh, and fill this value right here okay and if you need to measure to the 300 I mean I'm missing one column here so make sure that you place this charges right here and then measure all this value record this value and fill in this table here that's how you measure the electric field along the perpendicular bi bisector the one thing what I would like to point it out if you look for all the this gives you the direction of the electric field at this point at this point the electric field is uh, only along the x-axis and take a snapshot of this one just take a snapshot take a snapshot and then put into and then paste it here then paste it here and the next question that is asking is what is the direction of the electric field the direction of the electric field is only along the horizontal direction it does not have any component in the vertical direction it is only along the horizontal direction okay so that's it if you have any questions Please write down your comments or your questions in the comment section below and please do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.